I know how much you love eggplant already, but I think the people at home might still be skeptical. So I'm going to show you a really easy eggplant stack. I'm liking this. Lots <laughs> of nice ingredients here and lots of lovely eggplant. And what are you going to do with it? Grill well, it? Well, let's see. I'm going to grill it. But first we're going to whip up a little pesto. You know how I feel about pesto. You love pesto. I love it. So I'm going to do a basil parsley combination today. Garlic gotcha. cloves, perfect. And roasted pine nuts as well. This is young basil. I'll they yeah. save the really good stuff for me. I don't know if you know this, Chef, oh. but, you know, they <laughs> save the really prime ingredients. And this is parsley as well, which yes. I don't normally put in pesto, but you're going to take us left of centre and way out here and put parsley in here. I am, my friend. You can actually use anything green. Green. If it's exactly. green, you can make a pesto out of it. You know I make silver beet pesto. I love the stuff. And you go some pine nuts as well. Wonderful. Now, I've chopped you some parmas in here. OK, a pinch of salt goes in Thank there. Thank you. And a big glug of olive oil. Huge glug of olive oil. Huge go glug, hard or go glug, home. Glug, 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 That's plenty, glug, actually. Glug, glug. That's great. That's yeah. enough. OK, OK. There we go. And now you're going to blitz it up and then we can start char grilling some eggplant, my friend. Okay. I'll make all the noise. Perfect. Ready to go. OK, ready to go. Perfect. Easy. Pesto should be easy, and it is. You're going to pop that in a bowl, and now we move to our beautiful eggplants. All I'm going to do, Richard, I'm going to honour the eggplant here. I honor. know you do, you do lots of fancy things. Your honour. This is the eggplant. Correct. Correct. We're in a courtroom now. I'm just cutting it into big, chunky rounds. I've got my char grill plate ready to go. Little bit of extra virgin olive oil. It's simple, isn't it? Now, you could do this on the barbecue outside, really you easy. You could, yes, you absolutely could. And actually, eggplant on a barbecue, do you agree, is the best thing ever? Uh, right next to a big piece of steak. Yeah, yes. I was just about <laughs> to say, I'm talking to the meat man here. It's yeah. crazy, absolutely let's, crazy. Let's not push it too far. I know, right. bit of gentle seasoning. Now, Richard, I'm going to do all the eggplant rounds, char grill them. Could you please chop the sun-dried tomato and the olives? That. We're going to stir it through the lentils with a bit of olive oil. Ooh. We're going to make a glorious stack here, friends, but I'm going to cook these. Okay. Alrighty? Lovely. Lovely. So, so easy. These have just been done. Salt and pepper. I'm honouring the eggplant. This is all ready to layer up. Now, you led me into saying so easy that even you can do it, but that would be rude <laughs> to say that, wouldn't it? That would, though you do say it to me and I think it would be, what's the word, not right if I said it to a chef? Condescending. Condescending. And I think you do know how to do it, my friend. You know how to do lots of things. Oh, really? Yeah, here you oh, go. Just, just stick, stick to the cooking, that's what I say. Stick to the cooking. Now, do you want another one yeah, in there? Here you go. There we go. Up. That's beautiful. What about one more on no, there? No, that's happy. Okay. I'm All very right. content with that. Now, we've got our lentil, olives, sun-dried tomato, olive oil. Really simple. This is what I often have for lunch. OK. There you go. I'm letting you into my life. There you make go. it look lovely. Well, I'm, I love it. I love it. It's a great way of making lentils, which are, you know, I think pretty boring on their own, making them taste really good for a salad. Some cucumber Correct. in here. You could put anything in there. I love it. I see you skipping off to work with a little lunchbox. I too. Full of lentils. Good. And what's happening here? Do you want to put some Yeah, of that we're going to dollop some okay. of this on top. This is our glorious pesto. So, oh, this is all that. vegetarian goodness. I'm just going to put a bit of extra pesto because of all that eggplant you made me stack on. Look at okay. the colours here, though. And I can just tear some of this you off can. and put on there like that. Yes, and I'd normally go some goat's cheese first, but that's fine. Look at this. This might be something you might eat in Richard's restaurant, friends. Who knows? It may be. I'll charge a lot for it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so a little bit of goat's cheese on top there, a little bit around the side there. You liking that? I am, Richard. I'm loving it. But this is vegetarian goodness. You don't need the meat if you're trying to kind of help out the planet, trying to do things for your cholesterol. We say plant-based food. Yes, you don't need the meat, but it would be delicious to have it some meat. It would be, meat. but this is also glorious. Have a little tasty oh, taste well, of that. I'm going to go straight into the eggplant. OK. And the, uh, there we go, nice soft Good eggplant. For you. Cooked beautifully. Some lentils on there and some cheese. A little bit of pesto as well. He's Some getting a bit of everything. Yeah, getting a bit of everything. everything. It's all meant to be eaten together. I've just tried the lentils, but it's so easy. Shows you how versatile eggplants are. You know what? I like the eggplant. Cooked beautifully. That sun-dried tomato with the lentils is a really clever little way of bringing it all together. A great little dish. I reckon slap a big steak on the top of it and it'd be <laughs> perfect. Well done, Priya. Thank you, Richard.